Alright, it was nice seeing you, buddy. Bye, Vinny. Maybe he wants his pool. Watch out. Ah! Okay. Hello sniffers and flighters. My name is Marlene McCohen and this is Jersey. And let me just get right to what this video is about. We are going to do not only a cage tour and a new cage setup, but we're gonna surprise Vinny with a new cage. So for those of you who don't know who Vinny is, that's kind of like my uh, bad mouth, fast talking gangsta parrot who loves to dance and has been asking me for this cage for a while. This is the first time any of them have really taken a look at the cage. Oh, so Jersey's trying to check it out right now. I wonder if she's thinking it's hers. Uh-oh. That's not yours. Yours is bigger. Or maybe she realized she's in the video and she wants out. She's like, thank you, next. Okay, bye-bye. Thanks for coming. Wonderful having you. Do you mind? Like, is that it? Are you over it? We're like paparazzi. We're stalking you. No. She doesn't want me. <laughs> She's like, I'm going to my house. All right. What are you doing? She's also spider bird. Okay, so let's back up and let me explain. I was given two cages. If you guys remember the video where I thought I was gonna make this video happen, but I didn't. <sighs> This is not what this video was supposed to be about. Yeah, that was the video where I went to the bird store and thought I was buying certain things and it turned out I came home. Well, I didn't come home with, but it turned out that I got a baby bird. And for those of you who missed out and you're like, whoa, Marley and I totally missed out on this series, go back and check that out. And for those of you who are new to the channel, I do things in like a series. So like if you continue watching, you're literally watching our own show and everything ties back and you'll see the whole story of what's happening. So it's a lot of fun. So here's what happened. I got these two new cages given to me and I knew that one was gonna be for Vinny. Now, if you guys wanna see Vinny watch me set it up, then I'll do that. But if you guys want to watch Vinny see it only after it's all put together, I'm gonna pause this video, let me know in the comments, and then I'll read the comments and decide. Okay, ready? Pause. Go ahead. Do, 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 do. Wait, what? You want Vinny to actually see me set it up and see what he does? Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. So, basically, I'm about to set this cage up and then we're gonna watch his reaction while I'm doing it and then I'm gonna go over some exciting things. Okay, blah, 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 let's go. Vinny, what's this? He wants to go towards it, you guys. Right now? Yeah? But I gotta set it up for you, okay? First, let's talk about what we have in the cage right now. I didn't have bowls, so I went out and bought bowls. This toy was in there, and we're gonna revamp this. What do you have to say? Come, George. Do you want George to set up your cage? All right, wait, what are you doing? You gotta help me set up this cage. No problem, I will. I'm just uh, taking a quick break. From setting up the cage? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to imagine how it's gonna look, you know? Okay. I'm putting that into, what do you think? It's like an art piece, right? Vinny, we're gonna design it. We're gonna just like figure out how it's gonna go. You have to see it first, right? When you bring on a new cage, you wanna pressure wash it. I love pressure washing because all it requires is water and it will literally get the cage super, super clean. Okay, somebody's throwing a tantrum over there. <laughs> Do you like the box? Okay, Vinny, you play here and I'm gonna set up your new cage and hopefully I'll make it more interesting than that box, okay? I love the pressure washing because all you need is water so you're not adding any chemicals to the cage or to the cage cleaning and literally, like, you will get everything off your cage. Right, George, did you have something to say? You look yeah, like you had I something do. to say. Basically, you need a pressure, all I see is your nose. you need a George too to pressure wash it. That's, oh, George it doesn't wash. work by itself. It's not just water in the pressure washer, it's also George because Marlene doesn't do that. That's all I gotta say. Okay, all I gotta say is you're a Leo and you need like all your credit. George pressure washes the cages, of course, cause do I look like a uh, like Home Depot type of girl? No. You're wearing the flannel shirt. 
Well, this is pink. Now when you have a nice clean case, you wanna make sure the bottom has what you're gonna put on the bottom, right? Now there's no right way of what you might want on the bottom of your cage, but there is a wrong way. So this right here is what is called an incontinence pad. It's kind of like bed pads. It is not a doggy pee pad. Very important. Doggy pee pads have chemicals on them that are not good for birds. Second thing you guys might wanna realize is that this is put over the bar. If your birds go down and chew this or you know they want to get down low you don't want to put things on top of the bar you kind of want to have them stay under the bar we also have here this is another option this is what we've been using lately is these papers we were fortunate enough to be donated a ton of these and now they are cut for the cages and what's cool is that you could just pull one off and the next off these are the two options that we go with next thing is the bowls now a lot of you ask me how do i have so many birds and um you know i don't die from cleaning well i'm kind of an efficiency expert i've always been super ocd so one thing that makes life really easy is if you have multiple bowls for every cage right so these came in crazy colors it's actually what i went into the bird store to buy that day green and yellow and blue one of each color or am i too OCD? see this is where my obsessiveness comes in we have three spots for the bowls this is like a cage setup tour now why are three bowls important and if you only have two spots then you can get a bowl that you can attach yourself for the inside so one bowl is for water another bowl is for the food that will stay there throughout the day the third bowl is for the vegetables and fruits that you're going to give your bird you always want to give 80 percent vegetables and only like 10 or 20 percent fruits right but you don't want them to tarnish the food that is in the bowl because you always want to make sure you remove the fruits and vegetables because they you know they get what, what do you call it when fruits like rotten yeah rotten it's very important cleanliness is the most important thing with birds that's why it's a good idea this is a trick always have two sets of bowls because imagine you're tired and you have to redo the bowls well you have to clean them all out and disinfect them and restart over again but if you have two sets, then you can put that set away, put it in the dishwasher, it'll be ready by morning, and bring your new set out. Also, one thing to note, preferably you wanna have a cage with a top setup for your bird to play on. Because this is, if you don't have room in your house for these stands, which you guys see we have all over our home, I think stands are essential to having a parrot. But if you don't have room for one, Minimum, you want like a place where a bird can stay comfortably, okay? So that's our setup. Now, the next thing you're gonna do before you even set up the cage is check for old toys. If you cleaned out the cage, you shouldn't have any old toys, but you just wanna make sure. There are hazards with toys that are old and not pulled out. I've seen way too many stories that I'm afraid to look out of birds strangling themselves and stuff, so it's always important to pull out the old, you can revamp it and reuse the materials, but just start it fresh if you can, okay? George has to pull this out, because I don't know how to get that out. Okay. Oh, is that calling for me? Yeah, that was like, George, get this out. I need to start this cage afresh. Right. Let me show you how you pull this out. Yeah, show us. <laughs> Why are you laughing? That's so funny. Well, it didn't require much, because I didn't take this piece out. Oh, that was a hard piece. That's okay, I'll attach another toy to it. Yeah, you can use it. Vinny, how you doing? You doing good? Okay, here's another important tip. Do you mind, Rocky? What's up, Rocky? By the Rocky's way, that's Blue making all that noise. It's so cute. I love Blue's voice. Yeah, it's cute. So does it's, George. It's like a, we love it. Like, I, a, Blue like could make any noise and we don't care. We love yeah, the noise. It's a cartoon. Noise. It's like a cartoon like, of it. Another thing is you want to have ample amounts of perches and you don't want to put them on top of each other. You want to lay them out in a way that one, the birds can reach all their food so that they don't have to step on the bowls, that they can comfortably sit here and get his food and comfortably sit here. So essentially this would need another perch, right? Essentially you might want to move this perch. And two, you don't want to put any perches on top of one another. So if something went diagonally, 
up here and the bird was putting droppings on it, let's say. All right, so this is, uh, we're bringing in something a little more familiar for in his cage. Sometimes birds like this one special perch to sleep on. All my birds are like this. This is a lot heavier. It's white because Vinny loves the calcium, the calcium powder. So um, yeah, so generally we would put something like this right here and you wanna make sure that there's enough room for their tail. You can't put it back here and then he can't fit his back tail in. And you can't put it up here where his head would touch the top. So you have to be really mindful of where the best spot is going to be. So I would choose something like right here and then normally I'd call George and say, George! Wait, you got it? I don't know if I got it. And then you can always add branches and stuff too. So now we're gonna take this out as well. Make sure you tighten it though. I will, because I don't remember how this got in there. If it's your first day with a new bird, you don't wanna overload them with too many toys. You wanna take that time to bond. Vinny, we're gonna put in all his favorite stuff, right Vinny? Which is usually the box. So this is what we have to start. We also have a little perch here, which doesn't really serve any purpose where it is. I'm not gonna be able to get that out. You're gonna have to. And then this perch would be better served right here where he could reach his fruit bowl. And then you can add certain things along the way. George, do you want to move this? Sure. Meanwhile, Vinny, how's it going? You okay? So often you'll need two people to do this. By the way, that's a baby pool. Righty, tighty, lefty, loosey. That's what I learned in college. In, in shop college class. you learned this? Yeah, in shop class. That's what they did in college? Well, that's all I remembered from shop class, the tools to help me get an A. I didn't like shop class, it wasn't my thing. So as you can see, now he has like a perch to get to his third bowl. Important. All right, so now I thought, George, we would put in his favorite thing. You know his most favorite toy of all time? The box. Besides the box. Box. You know his favorite toy? Where are you going? I don't know. Is it over there? No, it's over here. Which one is it? You want you want me to get it since you're probably scared to approach? I'm not scared. Vinny, should Daddy be scared? Listen. That's oh, one of his favorites. That's one of his favorites. No, I like to put it against the wall. Yeah, but what's wrong about that? It's over the water? Yeah, so what would happen? I'll fall into the water. Exactly, like all the bitsy chews are gonna be in the water. Right. You could put so it this against- this should be in the back? Yeah, you could. You put it against the wall. It's like against the wall type thing. Vinny loves shoelaces. I love it's this like toy. A, I'm obsessed with it's this. It's like an Indian foot, uh, dream catcher or something? I guess, but it's like amazing. So it'll make him sleep better. It's his favorite. Yeah, it's for his good sleep. So that's his dream catcher. Next, his other favorite toy. Oh my God. Which We're going to have to put a perch higher so he could reach his other toys. No, this one. Oh, this this is the best toy. This one. Okay. Guys, this is all my birds. Picasso's favorite toy. Like this toy is um, a wooden toy from Jungle Toys. And unless you go into a bird store, you cannot get this toy online. So I might make it a little easier for you to get it. Surprise, surprise, surprise. I'll let you know in a bit. Now, depending on where we hang this, you're really gonna have to maybe add another perch, which I have, I have extra perches over here. This, he's gonna love this one. Make sure these things are really tight, guys. Funny timing today. Squawk Box sent us their toys. Thank you, Squawk Box. We have in it these pinata toys. They're cool, they're really lightweight, and they're fun for the birds. We're gonna choose some things for Vinny, and you can always ask your birds like what they're interested in, right? Vinny's just gonna be like, uh, I'm interested in the Squawk Box box. What do you think, Vinny? This one or this one? Or the box? Which brings me to my next point. Literally, I will probably put the Squawk Box box up there just for him to play with and dismantle. Obviously this, we have to put this in. Yeah. And you know what I'm thinking we could do just to get him to go somewhere else? We could put it over here or over here. This, yeah, could, yeah, that's right. this could encourage him to eat his vegetables because he loves this thing. So like he could eat his you know, vegetables and then come down here. Okay, so guys, we actually decided to put this here and I'll tell you why. If it was here, he'd have to turn around to get it and his tail would be in here. So we decided up here, he'll have a lot of activity. This, maybe we'll move this in case it's too crowded. We're gonna see. We're gonna see how it goes. Okay, things like this are really good for the wall, right, George? Like I could just hang this here. 
Yeah. It's nice to have some a kind of activity wherever they would sit because then they won't get bored. And speaking of boredom, it's good to switch these things around. If you see they didn't play with it at all, that doesn't mean like, wow, this toy is lasting. That means like it's not doing its job. It's not sufficient enough for the bird to be entertained. Really, this is all enrichment. It's extremely important. It's part of the expense of having a bird. So you guys have to remember that before you get a bird. Bird toys are extremely expensive. And and some of you don't have access to bird toys because you don't have bird stores. I mean, you can order them online, but you just don't know what you're getting. This is important. These little rings. This is too small of an opening for these bars, which is why you always want to have extra D-rings and such on hand. So for example, if your bird destroyed this toy and you could no longer use it, these are the pieces you wanna keep for future toys because some come in different sizes and you can revamp toys later. Okay, so this is a very large ring that came on this toy. So this toy would be able to get over there, but this one won't. That's why you keep things like this on hand. I have lots of extra ones of these, so I'm gonna go get it now so that I can hang this toy up. So just preserve all the toys in every way that you can. Another example is let's say the bird shoes the toy but like doesn't shoe all of this wood piece you can put that in like a little foraging box later for the bird to play with as long as it's clean and not contaminated so that's another important thing to think of so guys look so far it's like one two three four toys and we're still not done plus the cuddle bone right so all this is very important for enrichment these are things you got to think of plus you want to buy extra purchase and such an extra bowl so take a look at a toy like this guys this is not made out of wood so no wood chips can fall if the bird does play with it and it's not made out of any like pinata type straw or anything so nothing's gonna fall so this is the kind of toy you could totally put right next to a food or water bowl and just hope that they kind of are interested in it just to give it a little extra if you have more than one bird usually there's one type of bird that likes these toys and then other birds just don't I think this toy probably had some bells or other things on the the bottom of it but it doesn't now but it's still like fresh clean and brand new so we could still put that over here oh my god a job for George so that's just something to consider I have a George around having a George around <laughs> Same with this kind of toy. You could totally put it anywhere. So with that toy, I just kind of hung it right here. This means if he's up here and he's interested in messing around with it, you can play with it here. If he's sitting here, it's not in the way of his tail. Here would have been a little too close. And also you can hang certain things off of a toy like that. And remember, it's not gonna chip or anything. What else we got, George? You know what I have? Mm. I have those little shoes. We're not ready yet. We're not ready yet, Vinny. Are you already excited? I think he is. Where are you going, buddy? Where going. All right, it was nice seeing you, buddy. Bye, Vinny. Bye. Maybe he wants his pool. Should I get him his pool? Watch out. Okay. So with birds, especially if you have multiple birds, it pays to be organized. I have a whole drawer. These are the shoes. These are other little things. These are all what I consider foot toys. And this is Vinny's favorite toy and Jersey's favorite with the bells. And then these are chains and links. So we're gonna add a few shoes because he loves them and it's like such a treat for them. You always wanna have activities on top of the cage, especially if you have a new bird and you wanna encourage them to come out. I got that one for Jersey. She's gonna love that one. That's so cute. What about the red one? Whatever, yeah. Both of these? Yeah, okay, let's see these. So where shall we put them now? These don't have anything to hook on. No, you hook it by the shoelaces. The gangster style. He's gangster. <laughs> oh my god. Do not enter here. He should have two hanging right here too. Look at the recap guys. Look how many toys are in here. These. And then we'll throw some floor toys up here. We're gonna give him the whole box. Put it over there for him to just chew up. He doesn't go in there, he just wants to play with it. Okay, so before you give your birds any box, you wanna make sure that you pull off all the tapes and glues and such like that. So there's a lot of activity, and think about how expensive this, oh look. Oh, he came back. He came back. Oh, he's excited. He knows this is his. So I'm gonna put some food in here.
Guys, one more thing about his favorite toy, the cube. This thing, I've had it sitting up here and it's like their favorite thing. Like it was even Picasso's favorite. Are you happy? <laughs> so you are excited or no? Tell me, why are you mad that it took so long? I'm sorry. I love you. All right, guys, so I think Vinny likes this cage. He's a little mad that it took us so long to set up. Are you angry at that? Yeah? I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see my videos early and get other perks. Don't forget to join the Flighters Club. What? Really? Oh, you want to dance? Yeah, af after you met Box of Beats, you were like, no. Don't forget to check out all my links below. By the way, I have an Amazon store that you can check out and get toys for your bird's cage, your bird setup. I hope this was a good setup tour. Let me know in the comments anything else you wanna know because I am soon going to do a whole aviary setup for you guys and I think it's gonna be so much fun out in the sun. And then we'll see how we set that up too. And that's gonna be a lot. So if you're one of those people that loves putting things together, and seeing a lot of bird toys and that gives you the fix, then yeah, that's gonna be the video for you. So let me know right now what you think you wanna see in that video. I love you guys so much.